NASA recently released new videos of its lunar rovers being prepared for launch and its lunar excavator being tested in moon-like conditions. Let's take a closer look at these two approaches to autonomous lunar labor and how they might help humanity become multiplanetary. This little lunar excavator is called IPEX, and in a move that feels very NASA, it's an acronym within an acronym. IPEX is short for ISRU Pilot Excavator, and ISRU is short for In Situ Resource Utilization, which basically just means it's designed to extract resources from where it's at. The Mini Bulldozer Dump Truck Hybrid is designed to dig up moon dust, also known as lunar regolith, in pursuit of mission-sustaining elements like hydrogen, oxygen, and their iconic collab, water. Extracting these resources will allow human beings to live and work on the moon for longer periods of time, and perhaps someday, use the moon as a jumping off point for expeditions to worlds beyond. Earthly excavation tools are too heavy to be feasibly transported to the moon, so NASA has spent years developing something small but mighty that can handle the big job as well as the long journey. In NASA's IPEX testbed at the Kennedy Space Center, large lights angled low mimic the sun's rays stretching out across the lunar landscape, and a dark covering over the top stands in for the abyss of space. Many autonomous navigation systems rely on visual data, so simulating the moon's harsh lighting conditions in addition to the lunar terrain makes this testing environment multifunctional. For digging, IPEX uses tools called bucket drums. These twisting hollow drums scoop up moon dust and store it for transportation. NASA says it's designed to extract up to 10,000 kilograms or 22,046 pounds of regolith each day. The drums on either side of the excavator turn and dig in opposite directions, creating a balance of forces that helps IPEX stay in place and operate effectively in the moon's lower gravity. IPEX won't be alone in the lunar landscape though. NASA's JPL is preparing their Cadre rovers for lunar exploration. Cadre is short for Cooperative Autonomous Distributed Robotic Exploration. This trio of mini rovers are largely autonomous, according to NASA, and are designed to test how several robots could work together, accomplishing tasks that would be either difficult or impossible for a single robot working alone to achieve. The four-wheeled explorers are powered by solar panels, about the size of a carry-on bag, and will be focused on mapping the lunar surface and using radar to detect what's beneath the top layer of lunar regolith. These rovers will be able to communicate with one another via a radio system and transmit data back to their lunar lander. This trio of cadre rovers is set to launch later this year aboard a commercial spacecraft. These rovers are key milestones in NASA's Artemis campaign, which aims to establish the first long-term human presence on the moon. NASA appears to be laying the groundwork for missions where a team of robots can divide and conquer the task of mapping and surveying a large area, identifying valuable resources, and gathering data to inform future missions. Then excavators can follow up to harvest those resources to help humans live, work, and push deeper into the vast expanse of space. What do you think about NASA's plans to return to the moon to stay? Let us know down in the comments, and for more space videos, you can click right here. As always, thanks so much for watching. I'm your host, Jesse Orl. See you next time with the fam.